double shear arms now. 100 series Land Cruiser solid axle swap with an 80 series axle in it. All right, so what we're gonna start doing is I'm gonna start with the passenger side. I have to take this drag link loose so I can turn this whole knuckle because we're gonna come off these two bolts right here. So I have to kind of work the arm around this track bar mount. So take the drag link loose, take the heim out, put the heim back in so we have our correct height, and then we'll start working. I'll be back when I get like a, a little cardboard template made up. All right, so got it loose, and now the thing twists and turns, but if you look at that line, it turns. Obviously you can't just make a straight bracket, so we gotta make a bracket that like kind of comes around, if that makes sense, so. Luckily, this side's almost on the same plane, so it shouldn't be too horrible. But let me get some cardboard out. We'll start making a quick cardboard template and figure out what we can do over here. So a little cardboard, some cutouts as we turn it. Let's see, it's gonna hit when I have a near max steering, so slowly start to curve this out right here. I'll be back once I get something like really made, if that makes sense. All right, so with that little piece of cardboard there, we have that. We're gonna cut that out of this 3 16 over here. Eventually we'll step up to the quarter inch. We'll cut it for 3 16 for now. Make sure it fits. If we do any adjustments, do the adjustments. And then that plate will be made. We'll loosely bolt that on and then we'll worry about all the gusset support. There you go. Two rears line up. That one lines up, but they're on a different plane. That should sit like that, so it sits like that. But what we'll do is around in this area, we will bend the plate so it comes down and hits the right form. All right, fast forward a little later. Here's what we have. So, that piece we cut out, Came out flat. This bolt and those bolts are on different planes. So put it in the press brake, get a non square brake to bring it down. So that adjusted our angles right, and then did a second square brake to level it out, I guess you could say. Everything lines up. I uh, always cut my plasma holes slightly smaller with these and then ream them out with just a hand drill to the correct size. Um, these back ones right here, I had to draw the file as an oval because they're not square with everything else. They're kind of like this. So this one is an oval left to right and this one is an oval front to back. It just helps. What we will do is we will make our own like weld washers here. Uh, I'll do the same thing, ream it out the right size, put the bolt through, boom. Put longer bolts, obviously, when we're all done with this, um, just to make up for like the half inch of difference. But weld washers will be on those. That one's reamed perfectly fine, so it is great. And then I've also made a small tab at the bottom. I pretty much took this file, cut it off three quarters of an inch from center bolt back, because that's where the back of that knuckle is. And what we'll do is we'll make one tab that comes down there to there. And then this full side, we will bring it down roughly half an inch all the way there. And as it comes to here, we'll start bringing it down and fully box it down into there. So start drawing some more files. I'll do this one first, tack it in place. It'll be good. Um, I've also got a washer stacked in there to give this thing a little room because when this has to come off it have to take those bolts off and slide this thing forward um, knocking a high mount too so that just leaves you a little wiggle room to have everything move around easy you just kind of slip the washer in if you need it if not if it does tighten itself up when we're welding it then that helps us out a ton there so hope that's making sense to everybody what i've done but 
turning out awesome. All right, back at it. Nothing's changed there. We have made this, cut it on the plasma table. It falls in nice and pretty like that. Hard to do with one hand. Just set it there. So, guess it's all along the bottom. This is the sensor, the adjustment. Boom, boom. And then we also have front plate. It's we'll get welded in like that. So, kind of get the idea. Let me tack it together and then I'll show you how it turns. All right, tacked it together in all the corners. Double shear steering. And then as far as clearance goes on that, drag link, suspension's fully compressed, drag link line up there, plenty of room for that. And as far as turning, clears it perfectly. And obviously, no issues this way as well. So, double shear steering. Now, we gotta make that side look as good as this side. And if you're wondering if it comes off, take your bolts out. Yes, it comes off. So with that side being done, cut another one out, set it on there, and since this only has one high, not two, you have to bend it further. But the problem is, is obviously because it's going down a lot further, the hole comes off. I wasn't thinking about that Not before I lose it. So, what I've decided to do is, that obviously is bad. Got a insert right here, same height as a Heim, so that will be that, and we'll just run and go get us a bigger bolt. And essentially, both sides will mirror each other completely with two long bolts and a spacer making up for home. So, print this file back out and should be good. I should go just make the whole thing again and everything will line up. All right, new and bent up. Put on the driver's side now. New plate, same as the other side. Take and we'll put it up there, tack it up. And then I'll be back again. All right, all tacked up. I think the only thing left for me to do is make some weld washers for that, this one and the other one. And get them, get those welded in, take it off, fully weld it, paint it, install them. And that'll be that. All right, got the weld washers made. Um, I use just a little piercing hole with the plasma table then drill it out and then ream it out to the perfect size. And what they do is ream out to the perfect size of your bolts here. And then you weld these guys down and the bolts stay centered. You just have to make sure you tighten everything down fully before you weld those. Because once they're in, that hole is exact. I already reamed that hole and that hole, so that bolt's fine. Just gonna do this side now so it's as simple as taking the bolt out putting it in the weld washer putting it back in i still have to go get longer bolts these are only going in the hub about a quarter of an inch but there you go you rotate it where they look good same thing for there tighten it down tack them in place really heavily we'll take all this off weld it fully paint it up bolt it back on. I will be back once we get these tacked in place and I get ready to start welding. All right, fast forward. They are all welded up, cooled down. I'm gonna clean them off real good, get this some of this little welding splatter and stuff like that off of them. Then we're gonna paint them up, and send them on.